Dubai Creek Tower is the first to reach a record-breaking height of 1,300 meters and the most extensive architectural masterpiece designed to be the tallest man-made structure in the world. Yet six years after construction began, the tower consists only of the foundation. Work has yet to be done above the ground, and only a small part of the original masterpiece has been built. So what has happened? Has this 1,300-meter tall project already failed? Let's find out in our video. While the Dubai Creek Tower is already massive, it is part of something even more significant. The tower is the centerpiece of the Creek Harbor Mega Project, located on the banks of Dubai Creek, right next to a protected wildlife wetland with more than 450 species of animals. The Creek Harbor Mega Project is dedicated to conserving wildlife and harmony with the natural environment. Using the most modern ecological solutions, the project will be interspersed with green spaces and powered by solar energy to minimize environmental impact. Dubai Creek Harbor was a major joint project between Dubai Holding and Imar Properties, which also built the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest skyscraper. The area will be built over the next 20 years and provide space for more than 200,000 residents and 450,000 living and working people. It is set to become the largest pedestrian zone in the world, creating an accessible and sustainable city of the future. But what started as a partnership between Imar Properties and the state-owned Dubai Holding became 100% Imar Properties. In the summer of 2020, Imar Properties bought out Dubai Holding for $2 billion. They will now have complete control over the development and future profit of 6 million square meters of real estate, roughly the size of two New York Central Parks. This shows that Imar Properties have kept their big plans and that we may soon see the continuation of the tower's construction. When completed, the Creek Tower will be the centerpiece of the harbor and one of the most significant structures ever created. The design is based on today's most advanced mathematical, technical, and physical methods. To achieve this height, building a super tall tower in the shape of a desert lily flower is almost impossible. The tower is supported by a 100 and 10 kilometers array of steel cables used to create visual effects together. With the unique glass facade, the Creek Tower will admit light day and night and will be completely self-sufficient with the help of solar energy and water conservation. The self-cleaning facade will use water from sustainable cooling system water, which will be collected from the creek solar panels and hanging gardens. In addition, a shading system and wing doors will help to save even more energy at the top. And the oval bud will house 10 observation platforms, including the pinnacle room with a 360-degree view of the city, yet out of the 200 floors, only 20 will be usable which means that the tower will not be classified as a skyscraper. The Creek Tower will primarily serve as a lavish art installation and inspiring tourist attraction, testifying to the architectural achievements of our time. At the same time, the exact height of the structure remains a secret. When construction started six years ago, it was hinted that the Creek Tower would be much more than one kilometer high. This was because another record-breaking building was expected to reach one kilometer, knocking Dubai's 828-meter Burj Khalifa out of first place. The Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia construction of which had begun only three years earlier. It may seem nonsensical to chase the world's title of the tallest building until you look at the profit that the Burj Khalifa has brought to Dubai. With 20 million more visitors and annual revenues, equal to the $30 billion they spend every year. Inspiring record-breaking architecture is considered an economic strategy in the Middle East. Retaining the title of the tallest building in the world is economically and strategically important. The Creek Tower was to be opened at the Dubai 2020 Expo and herald a new era, just as the Eiffel Tower did at the Paris World's Fair in 1889. But in 2018, after the foundation work was completed, everything stopped. And the strange thing is that this happened while the construction of the Jeddah Tower was halted. So currently, both projects have been on hold for many years. Could Dubai be taking its time to see what happens with Jeddah Tower 
mainly because they will likely lose their title sometime soon. Or is it more likely that the global pandemic and recession have stopped this mega project indefinitely? The Jeddah Tower stopped at 300 meters after being put on hold due to political intrigue, which imprisoned two critical players. After a few weeks, they were released from prison, and construction resumed, but not for long. A few months later, the mega project has halted again due to labor issues with a contractor. The COVID pandemic then sealed construction indefinitely. But what about the Dubai Creek Tower? Right before COVID hit, the tower's developers were about to sign a contract with a Chinese company to continue construction and finish the project. These construction plans were canceled when the pandemic broke out. But is there more to this story? The tower slogan, inspired by the nation, designed for the world, underlines the great architectural ambition for which Dubai has become famous. Contrary to popular belief, Dubai owes its majestic success only to the discovery of oil. The government's tax-free policies and laws allowed foreign investors to buy properties that may make Dubai the architectural wonder that it is today. Oil was just a nudge in the right direction, making other investments possible. And until 2018, the United Arab Emirates was one of the last growing economies to be free of income tax. It was easy to do business thanks to the numerous free tax zones. But since January 2018, everything has changed. The United Arab Emirates introduced a value-added tax, which was just the beginning. Even though the tax rate was modest, businesses now had to calculate the taxes and worry about the penalties if they didn't comply with the new laws. And in 2021, the United Arab Emirates introduced another tax, which was a corporate tax on company properties. Doing business got even more complicated, but there are more. In addition to the tax burden, the United Arab Emirates must meet the complex and costly requirements of the UN Agenda 2030. The United Arab Emirates has been a member of the UN since 1971. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development was launched in 2015 at a UN summit in New York and aimed to achieve green, sustainable and intelligent growth that doesn't harm the climate or the environment. The commitment is to save the planet from destruction. But here's the trick. The new requirements are set each year based on the envisaged timeframe and the latest scientific research and recommendations. This means that the original $1 billion budget for the Dubai Creek Tower needs to be revised to complete the project under the current circumstances. Another major factor brought about by the pandemic and the global economic crisis is that more and more people have switched to telecommuting, leaving large office buildings empty. Amar Properties has yet to sell nearly enough properties, and Dubai has a massive oversupply of flats and offices. It isn't the right time to pursue another significant business investment likely to pay off in the current circumstances. Everything has changed for the United Arab Emirates. From newly introduced corporate taxes, green requirements, and broken supply chains to new human behaviors and tourists' financial capabilities. Great architecture has always been a witness to time, so it's not surprising that everything our world has experienced globally in recent years is reflected in the Dubai Creek Tower, whose foundations are hoping for a new glorious future that will be upon us. What do you think? Will the tower ever be completed? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next